so what's up welcome to the girl family network and today it's like one month later and what a difference a month makes um what we're going to show you today as always is going to be a long video because it's going to be our whole three acres um in the description of the video is going to be a time segment and that's going to tell you every little piece you may only be concerned about our food forest or you may only be concerned about this high tunnel or maybe just the fruit orchard or maybe just our container garden or maybe just our raised beds um whatever you're interested in or maybe just our chickens we'll show you that too because we've been planning something over there um whatever you're concerned about we're gonna put a, a little time segment description kind of explaining each individual section so if you want to just jump to that you can but without further ado last time we started to the front on the raised beds so this time we're starting to the back in the high tunnel i think you're going to enjoy it i think i got everybody out here so for those people that haven't been seeing the kids lately here are the kids here's bell since all you've been seeing is me lately you get to see everybody so we're going to go in walk around show you the things we've planted show you what we're working on and what we kind of got ready and don't have ready so here we go starting with our april 15th garden tour one month later last one was march 15th so here we go and there all right so i think oh we got the little babies in last time what we did well we get new growth on the banana, banana. We actually put this in so we can kind of climb up there and kind of start cutting because it's getting too high for the high tunnel so we're starting to cut the leaves at the top hopefully that we can get something to branch out uh, let's go to the back of it and then we'll work our way to the front uh, we still have all of this that we put in uh, since last year right bells all our peppers are still here you can see them. Good size, and we got more flowers. Flowers coming out. Getting more good size on all of them. You can see in here. And the little dust is just, of course, our diatomaceous earth. Uh, you want to show them our peppers? Papaya. Banana peppers? Yeah, oh, yeah, papaya. papaya. And then we had a little sucker on there. Yeah, and she has a little one coming off of that one too as well. She said so. Cool. We actually bought that one uh, online. But she do have some growing from seed that she's working with. We had the carrots. And more peppers from last year. This is the banana peppers. Yeah. We had and then all of this over here you're looking at to this side we haven't yet planted anything in this whole side that's that tree that fell on us so we'll come around to show what Bev's has planted her beans yeah Three years ago. And still producing, still producing. Third year peppers. That's what a high tunnel can do for you. Um, but all the way down, we got beans, beans. out here on the side. We had eggplant and then uh, pepper, uh, more tomatoes, and stop stepping on the beans. Uh, more tomatoes. What's up? beans and, and the beans are bush beans too uh bush contender beans bush. yeah and all these tomatoes are bush tomatoes you can see the little card up under there it's a uh, better bush all beans beans and eggplants is all over the yeah. We had a pink tone long, I think the green. Oh, no. uh, Louisiana the green. Louisiana long green, which is I like. Yeah. And we had the, this is just a different thing. It's the Japanese thing. Shuku. Shuku. Eggplant shuku. Yeah. So the long too. good thing about this is this oh, was yeah. planted 
after everything in our raised beds were planted so we won't get everything to produce, produce the at the time. same time so we actually last year we planted the high tunnel first this year february 23rd we started planting outside first because it was so unseasonably warm so we got to jump on that outside and i like the production of being outside so we went with it since we had a chance and we saved the high tunnel for last and the high tunnel when the frost is coming we'll be able to hold some of this stuff probably a little bit longer uh so like just the zucchini Squash. Yeah. Okay. More tomatoes. Tomatoes. And then we had the carrots. I think we waiting like uh, we had li li left them over here because we waiting for them to grow into uh, seeds. If we can get some seeds from our own. Plant. Yeah. On carrot seeds. I see a worm. <laughs> I didn't even get anything. Just so more peppers. That's the egg. That's the eggplant. Then we, in, I think we had or uh, interplant some uh, carrots all the way over the two. Yeah. Oh, and we we did put some. Uh, all right, come on. Oh. Ginger. Yeah. yeah. And one thing too, all that I see is that the. Like this is all possible. It's just growing in this wood chairs or like with yeah, shavings. Cypress shavings. So they just it's just growing like it. It will just keep growing and then I just decided to leave it alone. It might fruit, whatever. Cool. These are actually indeterminate. I think these are some of the one of the only little group of indeterminates that we actually uh planted that's behind bells right now. What those are, I think, might be some black creme or something. I can't remember what it was. I do have this thing down by that one, I think. So I think it's black creme. Um, but we're getting some success and some growth on everything. So kind of like that. You can see what is that right there? Is that the zucchini or the yeah, squash? That's the, that's the uh, what is the neck? Um, neck? No, no, that's squash. Neck, uh, oh, squash. Yes, three. Okay. No, that's a. Oh, it's on there. That's a zucchini. Wow, look what I got here. What is that, then? <laughs> probably this one. It's probably, probably that pepper. one. Yeah. Probably that one. Yeah. Long team that's supposed to be in the front. <laughs> yeah, that's a pepper right there. Uh, that's, that's it. That's all. Uh, so it's one of the squashes. Yeah, it's one of the squashes. So let's not worry about that because they come back here and mess with our little. Uh, yeah. Plackers all the time. Uh, over here, we do have uh, Watering thing, like this all cucumber. bush cucumbers, which is really cool to have them on that line. Right walking in, one of them broke from the wind, but it's cool. That's why that one is looking like it's dead right here. So, oh. Uh -uh. Whoa, amazing. Another mm. avocado. Yay. So, we never actually, have we ever put avocados in water like they do? Like the no, seed? We no, never do. we never We just, just throw it get in the lucky with compost. some popping out the compost, which is why that one is right over here. Same thing. It's just came up out the compost you just transplanted into a, a pot uh, miracle berry came back probably be doing a video on that soon when it starts to fruit if it starts to fruit and give something but yep that's the high tunnel April 15th hopefully that our banana will give yeah. us banana this and I'm gonna uh, today is kind of cold so you can see everybody have on uh, jackets so I'm not, I'm trying to save those pups that's around here just in case if we get a, a big freeze or something, I don't know. At least I can save a couple of them. But once I know it's really gonna stay hot, 
that banana is going to grow even faster because I'm going to take those pups from around it. Uh, let's go watermelon mound. Watermelon mound. Oh, I forgot about this too. We did a video on this and this is how <laughs> the front of uh, the high tunnel is looking. So basically we starting uh, mostly all of our stuff from sea. Bells has some wing beans, right? Yes. Wing beans. No. These are all the peppers we kept. We had Roselle that I planted. Yeah, Roselle. We still have our aloe vera pups that are here. Yep. We still have some slits that we could plant from a like sweet berries. potato that we put in. Uh, let me try the other side. On this key line. They can see that though. Variegated. Black yes. lemon. That's a sage that's oh. stuck in there. Then rooted in there. Um, banana. Another banana we're gonna plant out probably in the high tunnel. Yeah, we got the fig. fig coming up. Those are our air layer fig. The mint. Mint. Look, Sugar we got a little. Cane. We got these little uh, Worm. worms that are eating. We're gonna let them turn into the little swallowtail because we don't really mess with that tree much. And we got some sugar cane that we need to plant out. So all of that is in front of the high tunnel. And that's how the front of the high tunnel looks, which is really good. It's really cool coming out. Having that raised container platform makes it look real good. Uh, on top of watermelon mound. We got no yana. Bye bye. Most of the kids are gone, so it's now it's me and Bevs as they're walking away from us. But they'll catch back up with us later. I told them try to stay outside. So we're on watermelon mound. We actually got some uh, honeydew melons and cantaloupes that I actually bought uh, from. Uh, transplant that's on this side of the watermelon mound and we planted some watermelon. watermelons seeds watch the up. ants yeah but they're not coming up but we went and we planted some more watermelon seeds and those have germinated so we'll actually take those seeds and put them back here and they've already been started on the outside we planted Sunflowers. sunflowers like mammoth sunflowers so hopefully those will come up and hopefully that'll look pretty good because I'm not gonna cut that grass right there anymore uh, so this is how the watermelon mound is looking right now only look like it's good on the back side but we will get some watermelons planted on the front so probably by like August our August update we should be full with watermelons uh, on to the chicken cage. Hello. This is something that we've been working on. So I stand back here and kind of let you see it. When you see the video, you'll see what we've done. We've actually got some cuttings donated to us uh, from a guy, Mr. Jesse Shake Snyder. Hope, well, I already said his name, so uh, I think it's cool. <laughs> uh, but a guy uh, donated us some. Um, uh, cuttings, mulberry cuttings, fig cuttings, and where you see those green sticks, if you can see them, that's where we put our fig cuttings kind of to outline the outside of the chicken cage that we're extending to where you see the fences. Hold that fence up for me, Bells. So, this is how we're extending our chicken cage out. So, hopefully within maybe almost a month or so we'll have a video talking about our babies and how we've thought to extend this cage y'all want to talk say hello you want to speak to everybody they eggs say hey everybody we got eggs all over the place yeah so we got eggs in the back you can probably see yeah you can see them right here got some and they're sitting on eggs now so this is where they normally lay at and she's been sitting on them 
So let's go next. Let's go check out the raised beds. Oh no, our bananas. Yeah. This is gonna be our new banana. I call it banana square. And you can see that, which is really cool. I made sure I had enough room where I can get the lawnmower in between it. That way I won't have to worry about grass growing everywhere. But last year we just, we got some bananas out of this pack right here. So now we've uh, kind of extended it by having more pups. And these were some of the ones that we overwintered. So hopefully we can get a little, a little jump. But doesn't look good on the overwintered ones. Uh, but this one actually, once we planted it, this was that huge one that we opened last year. It's throwing out a pup now that's basically probably going to pass it up. So I don't know if we're going to keep that one or maybe maybe cut that one down and and let the little pup kind of take over. But we'll see. Let's go check out some raised beds. Pear trees looking good. Look at that. Oh yes, pear trees looking good. Hasn't, haven't seen it flower yet, but it's looking real nice. So here we are in the beautiful, beautiful spot of the garden, of the property. Uh, this is Natalia's garden. And we planted some seeds, some corn seeds on this side. Nothing is broken ground yet, so we're still waiting on it. Um, on this side, we have more bush cucumbers. Beets. Beets are still there. Comfrey. Yeah, comfrey is there, which we're going to take and start putting it around some of the plants. Eggplant. Peppers, eggplants, and cucumbers on the end. Let's check out the next bed. <laughs> this is this is Bev's bed, uh, but you can look at it. We have up the side cucumbers growing. It's fruiting. Yeah. Yeah, you got carrots. Interplant it. We have carrots that we've had. Uh, she want to pull some. Yeah. You can go ahead. We need to use it anyway. Yeah. I'm get down. Get down. down. This this big one. All Whoa, right. That's big. All right. I think that one out too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can just pull it up. Yeah, that one. Put it up, me. Yeah. Go ahead and can pull both of them up. Right we'll get rid of our own thing later. Good job. Good job. What are we going to eat today? Look good. Fish balls. Oh. Looks good. Oh, yeah. All right. So what we have here is our zucchini and squash interplanted with our carrots and cucumbers. We have a little Easter lily. I don't know, I don't know what that, that is. Wait, more I don't know. Probably. Uh, also, we have our sunflower, sunfinity, more peppers. Oh look, our lily started blooming. Wow. Yeah. Did that one get a tree? Well, well yeah, it hasn't bloomed problems. yet, but the flower is right there. So we're probably going to miss that. Uh, I wish it would have bloomed uh, for this garden tour, but it's okay. More peppers, squash flowers. Oh, hey, squash of five flowers. More peppers. Not much bug damage. I did spray a little neem last night, but we've been more so all we've been doing is actually doing diatomaceous earth. Um, Next bed is yeah. still our bed. <laughs> still our bed. Uh, what we have is a lot of bush tomatoes. Uh, bush peas, peppers that came up right here on the corner. Peppers that came up on the corner that was just seeds from something we left. And we have the uh, jalapeno pepper. Jalapeno, jalapeno. Jalapenos. Yeah. Okay. 
and then we had some of this. This is the long tin yeah, cayenne, cayenne pepper. And we had some oh, citrus coming up. Oh, Miss carrots. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. We do have citrus that are in there. From what kind of seeds, we don't know. <laughs> and more. We gotta, I found out for those peppers, you gotta get that diatomaceous herb to keep those ants from farming those aphids all over your stuff. They do it as soon as they start to put on those little flowers. They love to put those aphids and stuff right here at the top. But that diatomaceous herb has been keeping that in check. Uh, we are getting some tomatoes to get some size on them. Our cucumber. Cucumber vine is coming up. Look, it got fruits on it too. I'm yeah. so excited about it. My so by by our next uh by our next tour, this thing is gonna be in full production mode. So I can feel that. Yes. This one here we've been holding for seeds. We got some seeds that we really want to get out of here. This uh arugula, we got some more bok choy, the radish seeds and the cilantro we're trying to get some seeds out of so that's cool and then this is the running onion hopefully it starts one. running and more lilies oh, the on the end i just bought some bulbs i caught some bulbs on clearance mm -hmm. and i kind of just went crazy with it uh let's go check out amanda's Garden. garden. How about that? Let's That's check that out. Yeah, that was Lottie Bug's garden. Sorry about that. Let's go check out Amanda's garden. All right, so here we go. We're at Amanda's garden, and Yay. tell us what we got one month later since last time y'all saw this garden. What we okay, got now? So we put y'all see. Y'all can see we at the edge. We have the comfrey. That's right. Good for this, like. Yes. Just take it off and put it down. And it's gonna like regrow like crazy. But this is good to stop some bugs, make them kind of eat on the comfrey, maybe, or just put it as a block. Like, uh, oh, it's nothing but comfrey over there. We don't want that. And that way they'll stay off your tomatoes and you'll keep the grass from growing up around those tomatoes. Right? And we still get the colors from last year, from last fall. Okay, still doing good. Yeah. Not much damage. Not much damage. Then we had the tomatoes. Yeah, so these are the husky reds. Husky reds. Both of them is. Yeah. And better bushes on this. We have pepper over here. This is the sweet pepper. And then my favorite. Eggplant. <laughs> So you can see this one get a flower already, but this one and this a little bit of uh, that's flower. That's a flower on it. Yes, and th but this oh. one get a fruit. Cool. Wow. And they are the long, the dark purpley the, ones, right? That's the shuku or something shiku. they call it. Shiku, shiku, shiku. Yes. Cool. There's another eggplant over there. And I did see online a lot of people's eggplants and peppers have been getting eaten by these little bugs that's doing this. Yeah, so so the way to that we've actually been spraying these is instead of spraying the top of the leaf, I've been raising these up and all these bugs have been under the bottom of them. So now I just raise up, spray a little neem oil under the bottom of them, each one since they're so huge. But today I'm raising it and after spraying last night i don't see any more bugs so i think we're good yeah. we got we had a carrots on it too with us oh yeah interplant it so interplant the little carrots this is the kind of eggplant that got the uh, thorn thorns on it, on it. got me <laughs> and these are the better bush tomatoes oh we got a good bit of them up in there yeah. Say hello. Get down deep in them so you can see it. And you can see the cucumbers running up the trellis. Yep. Yeah. Look at that big one. 
with our collar still holding on on the outside. Oh yeah, starting to get a little size on it now. Mm -hmm. So maybe a few more weeks. We gonna have the first harvest. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. Uh, let's go up to show them your right. oh, my bitter seeds. melon little <laughs> spot yep. that you have. Uh, so what we did was Bells had some seeds just coming up from last year when we had the compost set up right here and we had the bitter melons running wild right here so this year she spotted some that were already coming up so she did uh, germinate some from seed in little what them little small little transplant things uh, but these that's, are that's a different one yeah. so that's them three is the long ones and this is the small ones which is not really bitter yeah. Which is I really like, but I don't know how the, those uh, three yeah. of those gonna taste. But so, yeah, so Malabar spinach is everywhere. Crazy. <laughs> and so I think she has some friends that's gonna come get some of that Malabar spinach. Maybe even some of these bitter oh, melon bitter seeds melon. that are coming up everywhere. So we did weed the bed, and after we weeded the bed, they all start coming. Up. Yeah, that's when she started seeing them. So. Dead. Like this is all bitter melons as you can see. And this is a lot like this is like a lot. This is like 20 plants in just one place. Cool. Like a whole bitter melon just oh, yes. germinated. You can smell the uh, the leaves. It's just when you just rub like your hands like that, you can smell the smell of the bitter melon. Mm. Which they said a lot of people don't like it cuz they said it's bitter, but you know, it's got a lot of uh, nutritious that you going to get from it. Cool. Let's show them the seeds that you started. Yeah. And then this is the thing I just... Oh yeah, she made this. I do have some video that I think I put on Facebook. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm going to put it on Facebook of Bells making this little trellis with some twine and some steaks. This is a DIY, which yeah. is like a quick uh, DIY uh, thing, that, like idea to make. And we'll see if it works probably first before we talk about it. Yep. It might just break down on her when that stuff started getting weighed on it uh still still same thing same idea from last year we have the lemongrass we have uh asparagus here we have turmeric at the back mm -hmm. that's planted waiting for it to break ground uh rosemary and we're gonna run the green beans up this little trellis right here so what we're gonna do is come over here to bev's little seed starting spot So what we're doing is we're at the little seed starting spot yep. what Bev's got and she has tell us what we have. So I got this is okra. You can see this is all okra over here. And I should we can you can do direct saw but I just did this because um my children want to try to plant something so I decided just do it like okay let y'all just do this. So I let them do it and then I let them do the I let them do the uh, the beans too. This is the uh, like Asian long beans. Aspar or asparagus beans they call them. Yes. And this is lufa in this side. Um, they still like they just start coming up as you can see on it. Like they start sprouting over here on that side, that side. Like you know they all over the place. Okay, this and we one. have tomatoes. And this is the native tomatoes Philippine that come tomatoes. from Philippines. Main, this is the long moringa plant. It go ahead and long pods. And what are these? This is the Korean pepper, which okay. my uncle was growing in the Philippines, and he gave me the seeds. And this is the papaya. You can still see a little papaya seed hanging on to it. Cool. What yeah. is this? This is the uh, long bitter melon. More bitter melon. And we had over here, it's not sprouted yet, but they had the sugar apple in here. And these are some watermelons and something else coming up over here on this side. The cool. Look like a, yep. So. Um, over here, we have still a lemon tree. Come free blueberry plant and a little trellis for some more cucumbers now these are the vine and cucumbers most of the stuff that we planted was bush cucumbers but on the edges of the beds 
and right here is going to be where our vine and cucumber crops are going to come from kind of off to the side from the property um, also i tried this little thing here where i took two uh cucumber uh tomato little circle trellis things whatever they call them tomato cages put it upside down right here and then flipped it on itself put it together because that's an indeterminate type tomato uh, so that's how this is looking gonna look better next time you see it in a month <laughs> may 15th i didn't see that yeah. it was hiding uh, a little loofah coming up let's go check out we got the mulberry tree and i'll just run down this side this is where I, our first i was looking at a video we did when we was making uh this raised bed right here when we made this one and this was totally empty over here less than a year ago so it's crazy to see the progress when you look at some of these old videos to see now we have this crazy little uh strawberry little tower thing that we made a few strawberries hanging off kids have been eating some uh more so they crazy about the mulberries uh, but they've been eating some we have potatoes down the side another bush cucumber in a pot uh persian limes moringa this is a nice spot over here we have those uh mulberries we got from cuttings mm -hmm. bell's baby it's my bay leaf the bay leaf that she actually did from cutting um and we got three more that we've tried to start again this time we used something we saw online using the aloe vera as like a rooting hormone gonna see if that works at all uh, a lot of small like comfrey transplants that we picked up off the ground just put them in some smaller pots yeah, marigold coming up yeah we got a little fig this is supposed to be like a strawberry fig rosemary and this the big daddy bay could get some more cuttings off of it do have a pomegranate right in the back right there um, this one is some citrus that we use some grafting practice on Blueberries, this is supposed to be a type of persimmon or a native persimmon tree All our little come quite or low quite starts Some chives. Chinese chives, I believe that's what they call them a Chinese lady gave them to me uh I think that's what they call it, Chinese chives, right? Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> uh, mint. And blueberries that are not ready. My little son is keep asking me for the blueberries, but they're not ready yet, man. They're not ready yet. Uh, so next, let's go check out the food forest since we're already at the back. Let's go check that. All right, so we made it to the food forest. Maybe so. Oh yeah, they got some potatoes that are coming back after getting attacked by something. So maybe they are still going to make it. Uh, I didn't do anything with these. I probably should have put up another uh, another row of tires, but I didn't. So don't sue me. Um, but trees are looking good. Basically, what's new that you didn't see the last update was, I think I put in this... Uh, it's called a pineapple sage, I believe it is. Mm -hmm. And everything else is basically totally the same. We just did some little chop and drop with our comfrey plants. And that's how that's going. So we can head up to the front and go check out something else. This is our raspberry. Let's go check out something else. All right, so as we leave the mini food forest, I think it's gonna take like a year or two for it to really get, really get to going, like talking about. I think it's gonna take that long, right? Maybe so. Uh, we're gonna check out our in-ground garden. Everybody starts to garden outside a little bit after Easter and so we waited 
to put in like all our in-ground seed starting type things out here. So this is where we are now in the fruit orchard. Orchard. Um, we only put in a few transplants, uh, which is some indeterminate type tomatoes here. But everything else, we put in some corn seeds, right? Corn, yeah. Can we get a new one? Yeah, and this is our first year growing straight from... No, Miss C gave us these seeds, right? Yeah. Yeah, I saw these growing in the Philippines, and I just knew we had to get them here this year. And that's... Mung beans! Mung beans. Nope. Kind of grow bushy. I think what we're gonna do is let the mung beans come up, and then we're gonna try to transplant some of them. Transplant some of them. Maybe Still put some in some pots. Move them around. Uh, but that's here. This whole what we got about two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, maybe fourteen holes of just mung beans. So by our next garden update, you'll be able to see these and what they actually look like. And like a beans. Yeah. Beans. They're beans. <laughs> Look, that's how they supposed to be like you're supposed to separate them when you plant it, but because oh, like they sprinkled it. That's how they supposed to be. Kind of separated a little yes. bit. Like uh, this one is just in one side. Yeah. I think because so of the rain did that. Yeah, 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 sure it did. Right after we planted them we got a crazy rain. This Have to cut this, those. This one. This one can't come up. Yeah, we have to cut them. Cut some of that paper back a little bit. Uh, right over here, we we have uh, what you got? What's this? Some from the Philippines too. Squash. Some kind of squash. So these are also from seed, which have come up. Well, not come up, but they came up. And then Bell's planting them out here. So they're like a little four pack, the little cell packs. And you can see those. It's all squash. All squash. So this is going to be our vining side. We're going to be able to let some of this stuff vine and kind of. Let it grow because this is good for them to like crawl in because yeah. this is the, like the paper. And we got it held down with just concrete little bricks. That we're not using. Those logs will come and eat it. Yeah, so hopefully we're gonna, and we'll be able to water it better. We'll know right where the hose are. We can water it with the hose pipe. Yep. Um, and basically our trees are doing well. So let's go check those out. Yeah, Satsuma with a little grapefruit. Uh, grafted onto it so kind of like a two-part type of tree we have our apples that are here just starting to put on leaves they just start waking up. yeah more apple there's annas and darsets that's all we actually have that's what they sell here supposedly they are supposed to produce in our climate Going to have to wait to see how to come quiet. Going to have to cut that comfrey. We've already cut this comfrey. Oh, they, they got a lot of babies too. And we'll have to cut some more. And all we do is just take these things and just. So it doesn't take much uh, nutrients from our plant. But also at the same time keeps the grass down, keep the weeds down. We got all these growing out here. We got a lot of babies. Yeah. That's real cool. Just got to get in there and get them out of there. Can't let them keep growing because they will take energy from your plant. I don't know what it's like when it seems like that. Uh, we have persimmon. I've actually been 
fighting with anything. Yeah, fighting with some bugs. Look how these bugs are tearing this persimmon up. It's supposed to be, I think it's like some kind of cutworms. But I actually did a little spraying last night. Um, hopefully we get us maybe about two or three persimmons this year. These are the Fuyu persimmons. Fuyu! Fuyu, Fuyu, Fuyu! We actually have two trees like this. Uh, The loquat actually didn't fruit this year, but it's all good. All good. What else we have? Another satsuma. I see you. Doing real well. Growing well. Uh, should have some fruits on. I think it did. I see one over here. So okay. I know it did flower. So, I know it's gonna put some fruits off. It did last year. Oh, we got an okra at the bottom down there. Hmm. Look at that. Got a little okra down there. What you doing now? <laughs> uh, this one we haven't did anything yet, but we're gonna put some okra out here. Probably this coming week. We got a lot going on, so. When I, it's kind of like one of those when we get to it, we can get to it. Uh, more graft and practice right here. A citrus that died, just the rootstock left. Yeah. I think that's a Darset. Anna. Anna. All it is is Anna's and Darset. So maybe the Anna is the other one over there. But look at the flowers it's putting on though, which is real cool. Yeah. Cool flowers. I like that. So maybe th this thing did have some apples on it uh, last year, and something ate one of them, and one of them some like tore it off. Remember? Yeah. We came out. It was on the ground. It was waiting for it to get ripe. I guess. Uh, Calamandine. Calamansi. What I they likes to call it. What Bells likes to call it. Yeah. Hmm. This different smell too. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, another. This is the smallest of the three trees. We planted these from little sticks when we first moved on the property. I think we paid like twelve dollars for the little stick at Walmart. Yeah. And that's what we've gotten so far out of it. Um, another Fuyu persimmon. You can see. I love the way those little flowers flowers look. Real cool. I like them. Might be we'll get one or two persimmons this year. Um, this is a Celeste fig we have here. It's coming back from the bottom. Looks like it died on the top, so we'll probably end up cutting that off. And this is the uh, uh, Mihu, Mihu, uh, that is a, uh, a Satsuma, but it's called Mihu. Uh, so we'll take off some of these little browning up ones, or leave it for the bugs to eat on and leave our good leaves alone. But that's gonna be a Mihu Satsuma, and lastly is the air layered fig. We finally went ahead and Oh, it's Put it in the ground. Look at hey, you. Sword. Look at that little lizard. It's hey. changing the skin. Yeah, oh, he's gone now. Oh, there you go. His skin's Sleep. coming off. Yeah. And we and messing with him. Oh, we fruit fruited. Yeah, look. Whoa. Yeah, we are. Well, it was fruiting. That's the good thing about air layering is it was fruiting last year, remember? Even when yeah. it was in a pot. So. They're already fruiting branches when you take them off. So that's a good thing about those. All right, let's go check out Onions. the front of the house. Yeah, so we have more uh, coming down. More lilies that's soon to put off some. We just got different color flowers. So it's soon to put off those flower heads. Uh, we're just trying, I think this may not be, I was thinking two things on the onions. 
Uh, mostly all onions, we do have some garlic over here. Uh, but what I was thinking was, this is the first year. Most of my beds, when I put them together, it takes about a year or two for it to really, for the nutrients and, and the leaves and everything to break down to really be able to feed. So I am seeing some spots where things are uh, putting on some size but a lot of them are still small so I'm gonna put that to just the nutrients not being there to actually feed them like they should but we still got time for them to kind of grow up and get some good size so we're at the front of the house the sorry <laughs> and the blueberries are here gotta love it this is gonna be this year, it's gonna be our sweet potato bed, right? Yep. And we put in some slits already. Here we have some slits. Here we have some slits. And here. And here we have some slits. And the you can see, uh, yeah, the spinach is starting to go, but the slits are also starting to grow. Uh, we have to really come out and weed these. We have the lilies. I believe they call some kind of... I think it's a watermelon. Yeah, and we have one watermelon on the back. I think we should take that one out of there. We can plant that in the yeah. back. Yeah, and maybe we'll put that one on our watermelon mound since it's already growing yeah. up nice. That's another watermelon? Yeah. Yeah. So, some watermelon seeds are germinating. I told y'all we can grow from seed. Nobody believed it. <laughs> we got a lot of weeds to get out. Uh, so we'll take those and put them on our watermelon mound. Lastly, some turmeric. We do got a turmeric coming up. I did put some turmeric roots down. Oh, there they go. Yeah, I see them. Let me see if I can get y'all to see them. Did you see those little sticks coming up? Little turmeric pieces starting to starting to flourish uh, here you know this is our little carrots. lovely carrot bed oh, cool. we can we can pull out of these as much as we want now um, we do have a little okra coming up in there what I want to do is we're gonna start making patches in this uh, like here we put in a cassava stem I just broke that part but doesn't matter but what I'll do <laughs> what I'll do is we'll clear something out like here in the middle and we're gonna put in maybe a bush ochre on each side so give it time to actually grow up or oh, carrot then came out no they are twins you see this one came out and the other one is still on the ground oh okay. one out and one in the ground Mm. Pull it up. Let's look at it. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, wow. Wow. And that one growing on the other side. Really? Wow. Like a Siamese twin. Hmm. That's funny. I never saw one like that. So, it's always something... This is not a chemical or uh, crazed yeah. plant. It just came out and we never put it back in the soil. I thought it would have died off, but it didn't. So that's what kept it alive is the other one was in the ground. And this is the red like it's mixed colors. All red, orange. Wow. Hmm. Cool. Let's go check out. I think we got the last thing is out by the road. Is our last loquats that are out here. And we did find some berries too. Some black berries up in here. The kids like tore them up yesterday. No, day before yesterday. But you can see them coming in. You can see the size on them. Let's see if we can find one that's black. Oh, look at that one. See them there. Come around to the neighbor's yard. It's our yard. No neighbor yet. So <laughs> yeah, no neighbor yard. yet, so it's still our yard. And 
can go up in there and look at that. Let's get those two. And so we didn't even plant these like hanging out eat them when you want save them for the kids most of the berries and stuff we do end up saving for the kids to come and mess with with our supervision yeah without yeah with our supervision uh, and these are the loquats basically we dug those up and replanted them from a tree we found and that's it we've made it we've made it we made it to the last part of this video and I think I liked it it was cool it was long it was tiresome but I think we got a pretty good little neighborhood around here it's I like they get a nice yeah too. yeah our neighbors actually put a white fence up over there which is really cool but got us a nice long road to stand by and look down uh, today is actually April 14th, which is my brother's birthday. Shout out to you, Eugene. Happy birthday. <laughs> He's out in paradise. Uh, so, uh, happy birthday to you. And we're probably, we're going to upload this video on April 15th. So, we had to do it today in order to be able to upload it tomorrow. Uh, so, this is going to be our three acre homestead update, one month tour, all that good stuff. And I I thought to title it like uh, what a difference a month makes like if it's doing this well this month the heat is about to kick in even though it makes gardening a little bit harder with the heat I know those vegetables those tomatoes those cucumbers those watermelon those squash are gonna love it and that's gonna make them produce like overtime so catch the next one May 15th catch the next one you're gonna like it I think we're doing good. I think we're doing good. Yep. Like 30 something, 20 something. And we doing all of this, on, not on our own, but you know, with the help of the, you already know. Uh, thank y'all for watching. And as always, grow, grow, grow. Peace. Peace.